So this is it guys, this is it, 19th episode, uh, Johnson's Pain Trophy final against Barry, um, this is the time that we could shine, we could possibly shine, and uh, I haven't received the money from the FA Cup, I'm gonna hopefully receive them in this episode, uh, this is probably, um, if this is the 90th episode, the 20th is gonna be the end of the season, which is gonna include four matches, not uh, three. But uh, yeah, it's going to be like, or I don't know, maybe if you want me to do the final episode of the season, like uh, one um, live commentary, um, like the whole game, because it's gonna be like, um, if I'm gonna do it in like 20 episodes, uh, I will have to do the next episode uh, with four matches. But we could do it with three and then have another one uh, as 21. But yeah, uh, I'll let you decide that if you want to. Let's see now what happens against Barry. Oh my god. I'm just gonna leave it right now. I wanna watch the whole cutscene because this is maybe a pivotal moment in our season. Uh, we haven't got much fans here, but Oxford, I don't wanna. I'm like. Um, Shattered their dreams, but they don't have a lot of fans, I think. And uh, we deserve it. Oh, we actually have a lot of fans. Uh, my god! This is Wembley, guys. Uh, some of my players probably won't receive the opportunity to play on Wembley again. So they just have to take advantage of it and uh, give it their all. Give it all they have. And uh, it will come, hopefully. Uh, the result will come. Mm. Ooh, with five at the back, it's gonna be difficult. Oh my god. They have Kelvin at two, Tom Sowers, Nathan Cameron, Daniel Nardiello. Uh, they get a lot of classy players, but sometimes class doesn't help. And if my players have heart and if they have enough desire and passion, we could maybe cause an upset because I think that we are gonna be like uh, tipsters are gonna think that we're gonna lose but let's see what happens Loza! oh my god oh my god I did not expect that at all and I just thought I could cross the ball and uh, see what happens but it was a nice cross from Pozo a beautiful Power header. I don't know if that actually got in. Let's see right now. Oh, yeah, I think it got in. But we're gonna have to do with some goal line technology. Let's see if uh, the whole of the ball actually got in. But I don't really fucking care because I lead at the moment. Oh, no. Oh, it's Junior Brown. He's in. He's in. He couldn't make it to it, too. Oh, my God. Yes! I hit them on the break. It was a nice attack uh, and I'm having a lot of kinda like screen tearing and I, I know what's the reason and I'm gonna restart the game uh, after this match uh, but I don't really fucking care at the moment because I lead. It was a nice finish from Junior Brown. Another assist for Pozo I think. Uh, it was his assist. I don't know actually if I say his. I'm not exactly harp sure. Oh, Cousins! Could he make it three? Yes, he could! Holy shit! Uh, I'm sorry I'm swearing a lot, but... At the moment, I'm tearing them apart. I'm tearing them a new one. It's 3-0. They couldn't do anything here. It was a nice... Kinda... Midfield run, because... Uh, I don't know, he's classy. You could consider him. Yeah, he's a midfielder. It's 3 0 at halftime. We're actually playing excellent, beautiful, mesmerizing football. Uh, basically, we're outplaying them in every, I don't know, statistic you could say, and uh, in every sense. And uh, we fully deserve that lead. And uh, we are on our way to win the first trophy of our Oxford United manager career. Oh! Loza! He should make it. No, he could not make it 4 0 to emphasize the win enough. Yes! We have won it! 
Our first trophy. Oh my god. It's a nice feeling inside. Uh, although it's not that much of an importance. Uh, it's a bonus. It's like a bonus for the nice work throughout the season. We didn't play the bigger teams in this tournament. But I think the boys deserved it. Hard work and some nice players might come through our team. Here we're gonna, you're gonna see how we lift the trophy. Our first trophy, many more to come hopefully. Uh, huh. I think we're gonna see this kind of uh, scene in the next years a lot. I think a lot, 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 lot. Hopefully, at least. Uh, we could do the double this year if we manage to win the league. And if we do this right now, our fans are cheering, and, uh, yeah, they deserve it. Probably, in real life, they won't see much trophies from Oxford, but at least on the game, we could win them. Nice, nice. Really nice scenes here. And, uh... The final finishes, so we have to move on and continue our job in the league. So, uh, a scout has returned. Uh, I don't know where to find him. Probably that's him. Yep, that's him. Holy shit! This guy, when 1st of May comes, if he doesn't want to, like, if he now wants to come in the first team, uh, hopefully he doesn't want, because uh, when 1st of May comes, he's gonna probably be like a 6th. 4 to 71 overall player and a potential of 81 to 94 that's a lot and I mean lot 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 a lot second game of the episode is against Wickham Wanderers we are at home uh, we should just keep our heads down win the remaining games of the season or at least like try and play good football not always win because at the moment we secure the title we just have to receive it that's it and I'm gonna try and give chance to more of the kind of reserve players like going to starts for the first time in his career and uh, second half I'm gonna include a lot more players this is how we line up oh my god I love this kind of weather it's the perfect weather for football it's not cold it's not hot uh, the Sun doesn't shine in your eyeballs and uh, it's awesome this is how they line up uh, some of the players m you might recognize some like Gideon Zalalem and Paris Cohen Hall Joe Jacobson maybe some of these players you might know cuz uh, they're kinda know this is Gareth Ainsworth their current manager in real life and uh, I don't know Oh, now it's LeCointen! He scores! A nice pass from Big A. And a good, beautifully, beautifully finished ball from Matt LeCointe. This guy shows kinda some promise. Uh, Cause at the games he's played, he's performed really good. I can't uh, say he's performed bad. It's a nice finish here. With a left foot. I think he's right footed. And uh, it's his second goal for us. Well, the game finishes. Uh, uh, actually, the first half finishes. I always say that. I don't know. I get confused. But the first half finishes. We lead. Um, we played better. Uh, only the possession is uh, for them. But uh, the lead and other statistics are for us. And uh, I think we could win the game easily. Oh, come on. A 41-year-old player assists. Or I don't know. I don't know which is 38 or something like that. But again, this frame tearing is fucking me in the ass. I don't know what the fuck is causing it, but it's giving me a headache at the moment. Look at that. Just look at that. It's a lot of frame dropping. I don't know what it causes it. And again, it's a nice goal, actually. To be honest, I don't really fucking care about the result. Yet, we drew. Uh, it doesn't really matter for us, because at the moment we've secured almost everything. And nothing could go wrong. And, uh, yeah, with one shot on target, you can't ask for more than one goal. Sorry. We have three good news. The first two are that... Um, not the fucking, that wasn't a fucking good news. 
Well, this is a good news. Uh, this is not, and uh, this is also good news. It's the third and final game of the episode. I don't know if I fixed that screen tearing, or I don't know what. How the fuck can I fix it? I'm hoping that I fixed it. I did some other settings, but uh, yeah, we'll see. Because at the moment, we have Burton Albion at our home, and we should play better than the last game, because we played shit in the last game. This is how we line up. Um, it's uh, like our usual lineup. I just wanna do the final game, the rest of the games over the season, and like do a better squad for next season and a bigger squad because I am gonna need some r rotation players. This is how they line up. Uh, some pretty interesting players like Lucas Akins. Shane Kansdo, Sheriff, and yeah, Sharps, they're both um, old and uh, slow, but we'll see, we'll see. Oh, come on now, Big A. He's coming, well, that was a nice goal, because he ran like 50 odd yards and uh, managed to finish the ball. Shrug off the defender first off and then finish the ball from the center spot almost look at that I'm talking about that screen tearing I don't know what to do about that and at the moment it's pissing me off like a lot a lot I'm having a headache because I'm so fucking angry no holy shit that was a nice goal and I get uh, scored very easy because my keeper is 50 fucking overall and I'm so angry because I don't know how to fix that screen tearing if someone else has experienced it please tell me and if you know how let me know so first half finishes 1-1 one, one. Um, we did actually have kinda <laughs> no we didn't have anything and uh, again, we don't have enough possession to cause a threat up front. And I'm... I don't know. My mind is trying to fix that thing, but I don't know how. Oh no, there's no offside! It's a penalty! It's a clear penalty! And in the 79th minute, we receive a penalty and that should be a, bit a red card. I think that should have been a red card. But maybe he gave him a yellow card because he thought that... Uh, I don't know. Maybe the keeper could have saved it. But it was a penalty. It, it is a penalty, yes. Pozo is gonna take it. I'm relying uh, on him for the penalties. Oh my god. Hopefully he doesn't screw it. What's happening? What the fuck is happening? Come on, let me shoot my penalty. Come on now. Now it's gonna be Pozo. Can he win the game? Oh, that was a bad penalty. That was a bad penalty, but he scores it. Pozo gives us the lead in the 81st minute. I thought I could take the ball, but I couldn't. And our fans are erupting at the moment. This could be a nice win. We just have to keep the result. It's a nice penalty. 11 goals this season. And, uh, yeah. Yes! It's a win. It's not a beautiful win, but it's a win nonetheless. And, uh. Hmm. We deserved it. Second half was a better performance, and, uh. An all round better performance from the team. So, this is the squad report. Uh, at the moment. Ooh. Toodle has. Uh. Got up on overall. Mullins, Meats, uh. There isn't, I think, here an increasement. Pozo. I don't remember. Um, Junior Brown, definitely. Yeah, definitely. He's played actually 46 games, which is a lot. Uh, Callum Aldota has improved. Harvey has improved. Um, these players are, I think, improving, but. 
they are not so much needed and um, at the moment this is actually all we have so this is how the league table looks uh, if we manage to win the next game we could possibly make the 100 point mark but um, I think we're gonna make it till the end of the season probably like 105 points we're gonna get uh, but that's just my prediction uh, that doesn't really matter yeah guys I hope you liked the episode if you liked it feel free to comment feel free to rate and feel free to subscribe uh, if you like more videos you can check out my channel I do FIFA videos uh, squad builders and uh, career mode and uh, yeah that's from me. I'm gonna see you in the next episode. Bye bye.